What's going on, you guys? My name is Scott. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, we're going to be talking about really dirty vinyl fencing. All right, guys, before we get started, make sure you come over, click subscribe, give us a thumbs up, leave us a comment, even if it's just to say what's up. It helps the channel out, guys. And I know you want to help the channel out, guys. So help the channel. Let's talk about it. All right, guys, so let me show you a disgusting, horrible, terrible, nasty vinyl fence. All right, guys, so as I walk through this pasture out here, I want to show you a spot that we have not treated yet. Try not to step on a rattlesnake out here. Um, but this section has not been treated yet. And I want to show you how bad it really is. Yeah, get y'all some of that. Get y'all some of that. Yeah. Look at that, guys. Yes, sir. All right, so you see how bad that section of fence is, right? Well, check this out. It goes all the way down, around, all the way out there, way out there, way down here. And hold on. It also goes right here, way down there to that into that tree line yeah so what we did on this fencing i went ahead and hit this crap with like a three percent dude as you can see we still got some lichens right here i'll try to get it in the light but you see they've turned white right so they literally just come off but they leave this little stain right here i don't know if you guys can see that orange stain that kind of light brown stain um i had no idea how to get that off i tried rust remover la's um all kinds of things i tried scrubbing it it didn't come off the only thing that made it come off and i'll show you up here in a section that we've already finished is retreating it with a hot mix so almost like a pre-treatment on concrete clean it post-treat it um that's kind of how we went about doing this uh shout out to derek up in dublin georgia who told me that's what he did on his vinyl fencing it just went back and retreated it. It's basically an organic stain. So hit it with bleach again. It should take it off. May take a couple of weeks, but it will go away. So you hear a lot of people that are in the business talking about don't ever use a pressure washer on vinyl. Don't ever put high pressure on vinyl. I agree. I don't like to do that. But on this fence right here, we had to. It is the only way without waiting it out for months on end and having to come back and spray it 16 million times that we could get this thing cleaned the way that this customer wanted it cleaned. I even put a turbo nozzle on this to get it off because I'm serious. It's the only way it would come off. Not dead up on it, but just enough to knock it off. Um, trying to find a clean section that doesn't have bird poop on it now. Well, let me just show you. You can see that the fencing is clean all down through here except the bird poop that's just taken over but that's what this fence looked like the fence that i showed you all ago is what this looked like so like i said we pre-treated it with a three percent um we let it dwell until all the uh lichens had turned uh light brown or white and they i mean they literally just get blasted off with the with the turbo nozzle but you'll have that stain that's left behind it's it's kind of annoying but we noticed that once we did post treat it, like Derek had told us, um, it looked great. So the homeowner's excited. I got to finish up this little aggravating picket fence up here in the front. Um, and we'll have this whole section done. I got to get the fence across the street by the pond. I still got to get uh, this fence right here, this whole side, both sides actually. You can see kind of right in here where we stopped. And then you still got lichens right here that goes down and around yonder way. I really don't like putting high pressure on vinyl, especially older vinyl like this, but it's the only way that it would come clean. I explained it to the homeowner. He was fine with it. Um, these vinyl picket fences up here are aggravating because they got these little caps that stick down in the top of them and they blow off. So you got to put them back on. But anyway, that is the best way to clean vinyl fencing that looks this bad. We nuked it and i'll show you again what it looks like after you nuke it 
opposed to being green, it's this white, pasty, chalky. I mean, it just comes right off, but that's the stain we're talking about right there, guys. So once I get all this cleaned up with the pressure washer, I'm gonna come back and post treat it and leave it. I'm not gonna rinse it. And it should clean up and look muy bueno and it will fade with time. So I'm gonna finish filling my water tank and I'm gonna get back out here and keep rinsing this fence. I'm having to keep coming back to the water source to refill my tank and then go back and spray and come back and fill up. And that's aggravating, but it is what it is. We're almost done with this job. Um, I say we, it's just me out here today. But uh, we've been getting it done. We had to wash all of this and all the concrete and everything looks great. But anyway, what do you guys do on vinyl fencing like this, man? Let me know in the comments below. Hope this helps somebody. God bless.